<laughs> Hello everybody. Today we have got another very special episode of our children's church. Again, seven children's churches got together to work on this special episode and share this message with you. Wow. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Seven children's churches working together. Our God loves it when his children work together like this. Look out for some familiar faces and be ready to make some moves. Last time we learned that I can tell my future, my God has got this. I don't have to worry about my future because God will look after me. We watched the story of the lady who owed lots of money. God gave her lots of oil to sell. Remember how her little bit of oil never ran out until all of her jars were full. Today we are going to see how good our God is. Let's pray. Father God, thank you that you are a good, good God and that you want to solve our problems. Thank you that no problem is too big or too small for you. Bless everyone watching this. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. 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 Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Brilliant. Isn't it exciting that kids from seven churches are watching this episode? Oh, seven million kids! Oh, I can't even count to a hundred. That's a lot, Auntie Sunil. No, brother, not seven million. No, no, it's kids from seven churches. Oh, oh, oh I see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. That that was a number was a bit high. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but, brother, um, yes. What, what what's in your oh, hair? What are you finding in my hair? Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, there's lice in my hair. Oh no no! <laughs> look, wow. look, kids. I've what? got matches in your hair. Oh, oh the matches there. That's where it is. I was <laughs> looking for it. <laughs> but, but, Brilla, what did you do with this matches? Well, you see, I made a fire, but then it burnt my finger. Look, look, look. Oh, oh no, Brilla. It looks really bad. I know, it's so Oh, it's really shame, Brilla. But you know, it's not good to play with fire if there's no adults with. I know, but, but I really wanted to see how hot was the furnace when Shashaki, Abit Nachi and uh, that other guy, how hot the furnace was when they walked into it. Oh, you mean Sadrach, Meshach and Abednego? Yes, that's what I said. <laughs> Yo. oh, I think they were crazy, guys crazy for walking into the furnace. <laughs> no, Brilla, they were not crazy, they were trusting God. Oh, really? Is that why they went into the furnace? Yes. We read that there was an angel protecting them. Oh, that's good. Oh, I remember now. Oh, God's good. You said that angel him. Yes, God is a really good God. And we can trust him. And he sends his angels in to protect whoa, us. Whoa, whoa. But you know what? That reminds me of that song that says, you can tell your problems how good your God is. I think they told the fire which was the problem. <laughs> yeah. How good God is. <laughs> yes. Why don't we listen to that oh, now? That's a good idea. Let's worship with that song. Let's worship God. Okay, guys. Bye. See you guys. Bye. I want to wave. I want to wave. I want to wave. Wave. I tell my problems how big my God is. Nothing's beyond him. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. So praise will be my response. My God has got this, he's my provider, he'll never leave us The enemy's under my feet, the enemy's under my feet I pray to cause Lord I believe, that Jesus set me free Now whether I feel it or not, I pray to with all that I got You are my God on my rock, someone turn that
God is. He is my freedom. His name is Jesus. His name is Jesus. So praise will be my response. Daniel in the Old Testament we read about three young men Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego and they had an ex exciting adventure with the Lord. I want us to look at this video clip to, that will tell us the whole story. Listen carefully. There's a story in the Bible from the book of Daniel about a king named Nebuchadnezzar. Now this king makes a giant gold statue and he says everybody listen I love this statue and you will too. I want you to bow down and worship my statue. If you don't, no worries. I'll just, you know, throw you into a blazing furnace. Since it's no fun to be burned alive, all of the people bowed down and worshiped this big gold statue. But there were three dudes who wouldn't bow. So someone went and tattled. He said, my king, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego aren't bowing because they worship the one true God and not a statue. Now this sent the king into a rage. He ordered that these three guys be brought in for a little chat. When they showed up, the king said, Last chance, bow to my awesome gold statue or I'll straight up throw you into the furnace. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood firm with courage. They said, Dear king, if you throw us into the fire, the God we serve is able to save us. He will rescue us. But even if he doesn't, we want to be crystal clear that we will never bow to your gold statue. This made the king so furious that he had the furnace heated up seven times hotter than usual. He yelled, throw them clothes and all into the fire now. As Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego stood in the flames, suddenly the king jumped up and he said, didn't we only throw three guys into the fire? sure did, said his advisors. Look, said the king. I see four men, unbound, walking around in the fire, completely unharmed. And the fourth man looks like a god. The king ordered everyone out of the furnace. As Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stepped out, they didn't even smell like smoke. Not a single scorch mark on their clothes or a singed hair on their heads. The king was so amazed by their courage and faith in their God that he issued a decree. No one was to ever speak a word against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. 
said the king, Forget the statue. There is no other god who can rescue like this. Where's the charger for this tablet? I could have sworn I put it in this drawer. I hate it when things get moved. Hi, what are you looking for? The charger for the tablet. Oh, we keep it in here now. What? Why? Why did you guys move it? You know I hate it when things change. Who of you have ever felt like that before? It can be really frustrating when things change. You know, we've had a lot of change lately with COVID. Can you remember at first we weren't even allowed out of our house? You weren't even allowed outside to go and ride your bicycle. Then things changed and we were allowed to go exercise for three hours, but we had to wear a mask. Then, after a little while, they said, it's fine, we can go and exercise anytime. And if you were exercising, like running or dancing or even going for a very fast walk, you didn't have to wear your mask. It got so confusing because things kept changing, right? Some of you, for the first time, your mom or your dad had to be your teacher. For some of you, I know, that's what happens every day. At first you couldn't go to school, then you could go to school, then you couldn't go to school again. Yeah, all these changes. You know, in today's Bible story, Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego also had a lot of changes. They had a new country, new food, new rules, a new language, a new way of doing things. They even had new names. But there was one thing that they knew would not change, no matter how much everything else changed. They knew that God would not change and God's promises to them would not change. You see, God stays the same. It says that in the Bible and we know that we can trust that. In the Bible, in Psalm 100 verse 5, it says, the Lord is good. His faithful love continues forever. It will last for all time to come. So that means we can trust that when everything around us is changing, when everything around us is going crazy, God never changes. God's love for us will last forever. And he stays the same. So whatever issues we are facing, God is a good father. God is with us and we can trust him forever. Hey, look, children, it's me, Dr. Justikov. And I want to show you my new invention. I just discovered something and I'm so excited to show you. So... Um, I was, you know, this weekend, I wanted to, you know, go outside and, and cook some meat on the fire. Um, I, I think you call it the braai. Um, so I wanted to have the braai with my family this weekend. But because of all the rain, all the wood was so wet. We struggled to light the fire. And by the time they got it lit, oh, I was so hungry. Oh, I could just eat the wood. So it made me think of a new invention. But first, children, you need to promise me to not do this at the home. Do you promise to not try this at home? Good, good. You are so good. Okay, okay, so I was thinking, what if I can create the liquid that can help start the fire really, really quickly? I don't think anything like this has been done before. Oh, oh, children, did I say do not try this at home? I, I think I did. I said it, right? Yes, I said, don't try this at home. So I invented this new thing called flesh fire liquid. So, you know, I can use it to light the fire with my hand, you know, to light the, the braai like this. Let me show you. Let me show you. Okay. So I put my hand in here. Ha, 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 ha. Okay, children. Okay. Let's get this working. Add my secrets. Da, 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 da. Okay, children. Okay, so like this, like this, children. Light my hand on fire, like this. Woo! 
<laughs> oh dear, I think I need to think of a better way to apply my invention. I don't think anybody's going to want to light their hand on fire. Yo, I think my heart just stopped for a beat there. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Well, you know what, children, it, at least I didn't burn myself, so that part of the invention worked well. Um, do not try this at home. Ooh. Anyway, see, you know what, children, this makes me think of what was those... What was those boys' names? Um, um, sad, sad sack, um, mean rat, and um, oh, what was it? Um, a bendy, a bendy goat. Um, yes, yeah, sad sack, mean sack, and a, a bendy goat. Them, yeah. They walked straight into the fire, telling their issues. How good their God is. I tell my issues. How good my God is. You know what, children? I heard some of you have amazing testimonies of as you told your issues how good your God is. Let's take a listen to some of them. Hi, my name is Tamia and this is my God story. So on Friday afternoon at school, as I was busy writing my last bit of work, my pen ran out of ink and I had a test a few minutes after that. So normally it wouldn't be a big deal because I, but normally it wouldn't be a big deal. But due to COVID, we weren't allowed to borrow, and I started panicking. I looked in my pencil bag. I knew I couldn't ask the teacher because there wouldn't be anything she could do about it. So I panicked, and then I decided to just stop, calm down, and pray. And as I prayed. My hand reached into my bag and I started to feel when I felt something, I took it and as I brought it up, there was a brand new blue pin. I was so excited, I was happy, I was thankful, I started to thank the Lord and I was just so happy. And that proves that even so it is it is something as little as a pin. God is there and He hears you. Thank you. I tell my issues how good my God is. Hi everyone, my name is Maya and uh, my grandpa was in the hospital for nearly four months. Uh, several, several times he nearly died and we kept on praying for him and now he's at home and he survived uh, god is so good Woo! <laughs> are we going to tell the people how good our god is yes okay so tell me what happened to apakus he had a stroke he had a stroke so what couldn't he do he can't not move his right arm and his right foot He couldn't talk. Okay. So tell me, what did we do just after we heard about it? We prayed. Did we pray? And we asked Jesus to help him, eh? Yes. Okay. So what can he do today? He can move his right arm and his right foot and in in his can talk with him. Awesome. I tell my issues how good my God is. Hey children, so we've been speaking today about telling our issues just how good our God is. I tell my issues how good my God is. Now, I don't know what your issues are. Some of you could be feeling afraid. You could have an issue of fear. Maybe you're nervous about going back to school. Will you still have friends? Maybe it's your parents. Maybe there's a lot of fighting going on at home. But you know what? Whatever your issue is, you just need to tell them how good your God is. Fear, go away! My God is good! Go away! Really? Another issue that some of you might have is you might feel really disappointed. You know, some of you were going to be on the first team rugby this year. Some of you were going to be prefects this year. Some of you were looking forward to your last year at school. So some of you might have an issue of disappointment. Now you need to tell that issue Issue of disappointment, my God is good, go away. You tell that issue how good your God is. I tell my issues how good my God is. Whatever your issue is, remember, just tell your issue, my God is good, go away. 
So children, right now, I want you to think, what is the issue that's really bothering you? Can you think of something? Okay, so you've thought of something. So I want you to say that issue out loud. And then I want you to say, issue, my God is good. My God has got this. Right, so think of your issue and then say to your issue, my God has got this. And whenever that issue starts to bother you, whenever it starts to creep up on you, all you need to do is turn to it and say, hey, issue, my God is good. He's got this. Okay, guys, let's pray. Holy Spirit, we just ask that you would minister to each child. And I thank you, Father God, that you are guiding us each day and that we can know that you are good God and that we can know that you are more than enough for us. So today, again, we just uh, put ourselves in your hands and we thank you for your goodness. Amen. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. 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 See you next time. Bye, everybody. Tell my issues how good my God is